the planet Venus probably looks something like this. Except if you went there, you would die instantly. To build something that could survive on planet Venus would cost millions of dollars. A lot more than this. But I'm going to make something that can survive on the planet Venus for only $5. Hopefully they take this. The planet Venus would feel like being crushed at the bottom of the ocean and it's hot enough to melt metal at the same time. So whatever we build has to survive all of that and still survive the toxic acid atmosphere. I have no idea how we're going to do that yet, but after we figure that out, we're going to put a piece of what we build inside of this metal pipe, which we will simulate the entire atmosphere of Venus inside of it, which basically means I'm a god now. Just kidding. But one thing's for sure, we can't build it out of steel like I used to build buildings out of. Because at normal temperatures here on Earth, steel doesn't bend very easily. But under a little bit of heat, well, that's not good. But while I was doing some research, I noticed I was drinking out of the solution the entire time. Cups, bowls, toilets, they are all made of ceramic. I'm not making a toilet. But if Elon uses it on his rockets, it's probably good enough for Venus too. So I just have to make something with the materials that they make those out of. But not this kind, because under a little bit of heat, like the temperature of Venus, this happens. So I got some of this stoneware clay. The kind of clay used to build pizza ovens and even fireplaces that can easily reach over a thousand degrees. So that means this clay can handle at least one of the elements of our test later. I'm not sure how though, especially since this is so soft. And because we're only using a very small piece of it, we're still under budget. I'm gonna roll it up into these little balls so we can fit it inside of the pipe for the test later. And now I have two balls and whatever this is. What if I just turn this I uh, know oh we shouldn't do that. So now that we've got our, well, rocks at this point, we're going to go take them to get fired in a kiln while they'll be turned into uh, fancy rocks. I found my marbles. And now we're ready for the final test. The goal of this test is to put these fancy rocks to the same harsh environments as the planet Venus and see if they survive, which involves this metal pipe sealed with a sealant that specifically says, do not use in the presence of heat, sparks, or an open flame. Pfft, I'll do what I want. It does say it can handle 3000 PSI of gas though. I literally couldn't find anything else that could handle that much heat and pressure. Anyways, I sealed the pipes with these fittings. Everything is made out of stainless steel in case you're wondering. Now all we have to do is put these inside of our little test chamber here and close it up. And all sealed up. The only problem is this kind of looks like So we should probably fix that. So we have to put it inside of something to protect ourselves. And the only thing I can think of is... <sighs> now I just have to take it apart. Now I just have to drill a hole for this to fit inside of. That way our pump can connect to the Venus simulator. I smell something weird. Everything's toxic. Now to get this thing up to the same temperature of Venus, we have to use the same thing that heats up hair dryers. Yours doesn't look like this. But because that heater conducts electricity, you can't just wrap it around the pipe. We have to wrap fiberglass around it first. Or it will, you know. Starting to look more and more like something I shouldn't be building, but I promise it's a Venus simulator. Now all we have to do is wire some power to it, which is going perfectly fine. And then these two plug into the power. And to make sure I don't have to find a new place to live, the power leads going into this thing have to be pretty much completely bare. Otherwise they will melt and catch on fire, which might happen anyway, but at least we have a better chance. I had to put some of this ceramic fiber inside of the container, so hopefully it won't catch on fire. I almost forgot to add the part that makes this extremely dangerous, which is this. Sulfur. When heated up, this sulfur will turn into sulfur dioxide, which is very toxic. And now that I'm lowering this sketchy Venus simulator down into the container, it means it's time to start the test. I don't know if I'm excited about that. But because this is extremely dangerous, I'm gonna combine everything into a more portable system. For some reason, after it's plugged in, it looks less safe. 
can't imagine why. So we can take it somewhere safe. Which I guess is going to have to be right outside my apartment. For the record, my lease agreement does not say anything about doing experiments. So I hope this doesn't explode and I get evicted. To start the test, all we have to do is connect the pump and pump it up to about half of the pressure of Venus. The heat will do the rest. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Now we just turn on the power and wait. As the heat rises inside of the pipe, the pressure increases also and turns the sulfur we put inside earlier into toxic gas. I smell burning. Meaning the inside of this pipe reaches the same conditions of the planet Venus. And after a few hours, we have completed the Venus simulation. So it's a safe temperature now, but it's still under a lot of pressure. Wish me luck, I'm taking it out. It melted the bulletproof glass. Uh, I'm holding a pipe bomb. This valve, when I pull it, will let all of the air out. I forgot, it's toxic. I knew it was toxic the whole time. I just did that for the laughs. Look how burned it got. Maybe I should let this out outside. And after taking apart the Venus simulator, I noticed burn marks on all of the fittings and inside of the pipe. And on top of that, there was a problem. One of the pieces we put in earlier wouldn't come out. And even after trying to tap it out, it still wouldn't come out. That can only mean one thing. The little wiener piece didn't survive. For some reason, the longer piece got stuck to the inside of the pipe during the simulation. I broke it while trying to pry it out. My only guess is, is that the sulfur melted and that's why this piece got stuck to the inside of the pipe. And to give you an idea of what happened inside of the pipe, I burned some for you. And it looks like it's turning into maple syrup or something. Now I'm going to have to wear this for a while because I did that. Seriously, please don't try that. I have to air out my whole apartment right now. And then use this air meter to figure out if it's still safe in here. But... The two balls. Holy crap. Survived. And our balls survived so well that even on closer inspection, there were no cracks or any signs of breaking. Just some burn marks on our balls. It's like half a success. It's funny that that part broke. I guess I'm gonna go build something else. Okay, bye.